Hey guys, welcome back. So today it's gonna be a weird video. Today we're gonna be building handheld rig for an action camera. And uh, a couple of days ago I thought, can this little guy, which is DJI Osmo Action, can this guy shoot something cinematic? And I hope like it will it will be able to, because today we're gonna be build a handheld rig for this. And uh, I bought a couple of accessories made by Small Rig. Um, so this is the first one. This is a Small Rig cage for the DJI Osmo Action. And you know what? Uh, I'm actually like this is the first time I'm dealing with uh, any products made by Small Rig, and I was really surprised at uh, how good quality it is. Uh, like considering the price of like maybe 20 max, 30 max dollars. Uh, this is really robust. This is really like reliable no like uh, the camera is not like wiggling around in it everything is really well made uh so yeah good stuff small rig and i will link their website down in the description below so right now i'm going to change the angle and i'm gonna show you around uh, i'm gonna show a more of a close-up on all of those accessories and i will show you like uh, all of those mounting points uh and by the way if you are a beginner photographer and you don't know anything please check out my blog down in the description below where i assembled some cool and necessary info for beginner photographers. Uh, so without further ado, I'm gonna change the angle and I'm gonna show you all of those accessories. So this is our cage. First of all, it comes with this really handy adapter for your filter and it is 52 millimeter thread, which can be totally removed using the hex key, which comes with the cage. At the top, we have two quarter 20 mounts with a bigger RE mount. At the bottom, we have five quarter 20 mounts. On the side, we have six quarter 20 mounts, which are positioned conveniently to attach like any other accessories. And on the other side, we have four quarter 20 mounts. So this cage is really robust and it's really like, it holds the camera really tight because you see it has this kind of rubber gasket um, on, the, on the side, on the door, and it holds the camera really well. And those screws are really annoying to screw in because they are so tiny. And so this all about the cage. Um, so let's move on to our handles. So this is our handle. It's a pretty simple design, uh, but it has like everything that you might need. So it uses two quarter 20 mounts, quarter 20 screws to uh, attach to our cage and to like anything you want. It has three more quarter 20 mounts on the top. And it's like, it's primarily made of plastic, but where the mounting points are, it's made of this kind of cold to the touch plastic, which is really more reliable. And it also comes with this hex key, uh, which we can use to adjust the height of our handle. So without further ado, let's get building. So let's start by taking our cage and inserting our camera into this cage. So as I've already mentioned, it has this kind of rubber thingy on the door, which presses against the camera. And so our camera will not like be wiggling around the cage. And have I mentioned that those screws are really annoying? Yes, they are. Now let's move to our handle. First, I'm going to attach the handle on the right. Or is it left? Whatever. And the attachment is really easy and straightforward. You just screw it in and maybe tighten it using the hex key, which is hidden in the handle. And it is really sturdy and it's really reliable. You just tighten them up and you can hide this key inside the handle. And it sits there using magnets, which is really cool. Already our rig is way more stable. So if you move, if you try to move the camera, this tiny little camera with your hand, it will wiggle, it will bounce, it will just be all over the place. And for this video, for this cinematic video, I'm not going to be using any in-camera stabilization. So I just want to, uh, I just want this rig to do the job of stabilizing our shots. So now with two handles attached, it will be way more stable. And now I'm going to do something crazy. I think I'm going to attach a variable ND filter to our action camera here. As you already know, there are all sorts of ND filters for action camera, for GoPros, for DJI, for like uh, all action cameras. And those ND filters are fixed. 
So they are like ND8, ND16, 30, uh, 32, 64, etc. And now I'm going to use two step up rings to mount my big 77 millimeter variable ND filter. And I thought, well, as long as I'm holding this rig in my hands, I will be able to change uh, this variable ND uh, like with my hand. And why bother buying all of those tiny filters which are fixed? So now I'm using two step up rings, 52 to 55 and then 55 to 77. And as you can see, our rig is, it is ridiculous. This is it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, which will be my cinematic video shot on the DJI Osmo action. And as always, please leave a like, subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them down in the comments section below. So thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you in my next video.